In an argument with her husband, Lady Chatterley reveals that she is expecting a child and longs to be with Oliver. Connie decides to leave once Oliver is fired, despite Sir Clifford's refusal to grant her a divorce, and after some time apart, the couple is once again together. Why Sir Clifford is okay with Lady Chatterley having an affair, but not with Oliver. Sir Clifford has a large ego and is also classist. He thinks that because he is wealthy and holds the title of lord, he is better than his servants and the residents of the town. In order to conceive and raise the child as their own, Sir Clifford believed it was okay for Connie to have an affair with a respectable man whose identity was a mystery. After becoming disabled, Sir Clifford was unable to have children, thus the only way he could see Connie getting pregnant was by sleeping with someone else. Clifford thought the gamekeeper was beneath him and was furious to learn that Connie was carrying Oliver's child. Sir Clifford couldn't stand the idea that a man of lesser means his employee, no less, would be the father of a child Lord Chatterley intended to raise. The fact that Lady Chatterley chose someone like Oliver to sleep with and love was something Sir Clifford could not accept. His ego and snobbish classism were too great for Sir Clifford to get over Lady Chatterley's actions and accept the situation. What's more, Clifford was also affronted that she could love Oliver so passionately and not him, despite his belief that he gave her everything. Why she's drawn to Oliver, in contrast to the loneliness and isolation Connie felt in her marriage to Clifford, spending time at Oliver's cabin, provided her much happiness and comfort. Oliver also demonstrated that there can be passion, connection, and joy in sex by assisting Connie in reawakening her sexual instincts. Oliver's lack of arrogance and ability to love, care for, and be tender in a way that Clifford could not was helpful. Oliver also stood for a way of life that Connie could have missed, one free from the pretentiousness and etiquette of upper-class society and its accoutrements. In contrast to her life with Clifford, Connie could be free to pursue her desires with Oliver, fueled by her own sexual liberation. Will Clifford eventually divorce Connie? Clifford was sure that Lady Chatterley would not receive the divorce she desired. It served as a punishment, keeping Connie dependent on him and preventing her from freely marrying Oliver. There's a chance Clifford's rage could melt and he'll end up divorcing Connie. In the book, Lady Chatterley wishes Clifford will grant her the desired divorce. But considering how entitled and vengeful Clifford is, it might be years before he actually divorces Lady Chatterley. When it comes to his significant other's affair, he is concerned about his reputation. By giving her a divorce, he would lose control over her. The theme of Lady Chatterley's lover is sexual awakening and independence. Lady Chatterley comes to the realization that she can experience both physical and emotional closeness and not be confined to a cold, distant marriage held together by society expectations and empty promises. In this feminist tale, Connie regains her power while also enjoying herself sexually. The movie also makes a point about how social class divides people in society, shapes a person's personality, and affects who they can love. It provides the affluent, like Clifford, with a justification for treating people as less than human, which Lady Chatterley's lover is obviously opposed to.